I didn't, I didn't expect this to be this good. Hello, you beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel and hello and welcome if you're new. If you are new, please don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And don't forget to turn that notification bell on because I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays. And I can officially announce now that next week is going to be Colourpop week. So it's going to be a brand new video every single day testing something from Colourpop. So just putting it out there. <laughs> Today is a super exciting video because we have a box full of goodies I picked up from Revolution for their brand new Relove Revolution brand. I have got enough to do a full face. We have sponges, we have setting powders, highlighters, primers, foundation, mascara, lip gloss, eyeliner, eyeshadow palettes, contour palettes, blusher palettes. We've got all sorts to get through today. So today we're going to be testing this a brand new brand from Revolution. Everything in the brand is under £5, which is absolutely amazing. And they have quite launched quite a lot of things. The only thing I couldn't get my hands on was the setting sprays because they weren't actually available to buy at the time that it launched. So I didn't get a chance to pick that up, but we'll be testing everything else out today. Let's just get straight into it because... I know this is going to be a long video. I also picked up the brand new I Heart Revolution Coconut Palette and I also got the brand new Revolution Forever Flawless Palette. This one is the nude one. So there's going to be videos coming this week testing these two out and doing a full kind of eyeshadow look with these as well. But let's just get straight into it. So we'll start with the eyes. I'm just going to use the P. Louise Base in the shade number two, Rumour. And just a Peaches and Cream PC29 brush to tap all this all over the lid. So the whole kind of premise behind this brand is for it to be under five pound and for it to be cruelty free and completely vegan as well. So they launched quite a few different colour stories of eyeshadow palettes. So I ended up picking two of them. So we got the Express one, which is more of like a green kind of colour scheme looks absolutely beautiful. So this has two mattes in it and then the rest are all shimmers. And this is just what it looks like. This retails for £3, unbelievable price. And then the other one that I picked up, which I thought would be a nice one to have like a selection of mattes. This one is in the style Motivate and this is just a full matte palette. I thought this would just be perfect for any other ones that I get from their collection. I've always got some matte ones at hand. The packaging does feel kind of more so on the cheap side, but it's £3 for an eyeshadow palette. Like, it's meant to be really affordable. That's the whole kind of purpose of the brand. So I'm going to start with just a I Heart Revolution brush from a Christmas gift set. And I'm going to go in with the shade green to begin with. And I'm just going to put that Ooh, okay, pigmentation, come through. I'm just gonna put that straight into the crease. So I'm, I'm taking the Revolution and Roxy brush, and I'm gonna be taking this color here from the Motivate palette. This looks perfect for like a day-to-day -day eye. Say if you just wanted like a matte go-to palette, super sim like simple, super small to carry with you, and you were somebody who maybe wants to use a pigment and doesn't want to use like a shimmery eyeshadow, that is going to be perfect. So I'm just going to lightly blend through all of these edges and then I'll be back in a second. So now that that's all blended out, they blended together beautifully. Like pigmentation, the blend, the, the formula, I can't fault it at all. It's actually crazy that this is £3. Now we're going to go in with some Shim Shimmer and we're going to go in with this beautiful, kind of like, it's like a golden, but it's got like a, a hint of greeny, olivey in it. Mm, this makes me excited. And you all know I love applying my Shim Shimmers with my finger. That's how it's looking. <gasps> okay, she's nice, she's nice. Oh, okay, she's really nice. <laughs> Oh, that is gorgeous. Please let me know as well if you want me to do like a full matte look with this palette. Because obviously I know this is quite green. So let me know that we do another video with it because I'll make sure that I do it this week before Colourpop week starts next week because 
next week unless there's like a huge launch that I desperately need to get up it's going to be a full week seven days of colour pop just to deepen up this outer corner I'm going to be taking a c3 brush from the brand viewer bell I don't even know if they do these brushes anymore but we're going to be going back in with the express palette and just going in with this darker colour here and I'm just going to tap this in the outer corner I thought it was going to be like scarily pigmented but it's actually not <laughs> it's quite manageable which is nice I love how that looks okay so far really impressed with the palette can't go wrong cruelty free vegan and three pound super super affordable which is what we like to see whilst we're doing the eyes let's try their brand new slick flick eyeliner so on the side it says it's a perfect flick eyeliner create your dream flick super black pigment <laughs> this retails for three pound again super affordable so it's got a little ball in it for you to shake up the formula so yeah three pound oh the nib is one of the ones that i really really like so let's see what oh okay she is pigmented the nib is very very thin which is obviously good as well it's very pigmented so it kind of covers up the eyeshadow really really nicely as well so I wasn't expecting for it to be this big of a wing but here we are the thing that I want to say is it is really 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 pigmented and for somebody like me who's got a really shaky hand sometimes it's nice for <laughs> this sounds so bizarre but this is why I like the soap and glory one because it isn't very pigmented sometimes it's nice to have one that isn't super pigmented if you accidentally touch your skin it's not as noticeable but that's just me because I'm not the best at eyeliner if you want a really really nice thin nib really pigmented you are going to absolutely love this I know for a fact this is going to be one of my favorite ones I think the nib is actually better than the like the rose gold one that revolution do I'm going to do my other eye but I am so impressed with how pigmented and just how easy it covered up the shimmer as well like it didn't go like super lumpy or bumpy like super smooth really impressed and I wasn't even going to pick this up I literally picked this up just for this video I kid you not I can imagine this very very quickly becoming my new favorite eyeliner of all time wow even like any other ones I've tried from Revolution have never wowed me like that and I was a bit worried that this new brand was just going to be like normal revolution stuff like just repackaged and cheaper but that i promise you now that is 100 percent different that's not like the other ones that i've tried from from revolution right let's prime the face so next up we have the we love revolution h2o hydrate primer she just looks like this she's cute this is 12 mil which is quite a decent size considering this is three pound they have quite a few different ones i like the pump i feel like that's fancy they have loads of different ones that have like a pore filling one they have quite a few however my skin has been so dehydrated recently i thought this one oh oh my god it smells like cherries oh it smells like my car air freshener oh my god that smells oh that smells absolutely beautiful really hydrate and i can feel it kind of sinking in i can't get over that smell that smells unreal oh, i'm buzzing oh my god i'm actually buzzing with this stuff so far i'm so shocked by it what the hell <laughs> so next we have the Relove revolution super serum hyaluronic acid foundation this is what she looks like. This retails for five pounds. And they also brought out something called a Beauty Bestie makeup sponge. And it's like a little love heart. And it looks like it's got a little butt crack <laughs> when you look at it that way. And this again retails for five pounds. So I'm gonna go wet the sponge and we'll see size-wise what it changes to. But look at her. She is so stinking cute. So I have wet her. She has grew quite a bit. Um, she feels really really soft as well so let's try this foundation I'm gonna give it a shake just with it being like a serum I really hope this matches me because it looks so dark I love a little pipette as well I feel like it just makes you feel bougie what I will say is she is a lot lighter than what she looks like in the packaging so if you do pick this up on the shop bear that in mind because she looks super dark there but actually it's probably really, like my right shade and I'm just tapping this all over my skin I'm sorry but 
how quick and easy was that to blend out? I honestly thought that this sponge would soak up absolutely loads of the foundation because obviously the foundation is like a serum one, it's got hyaluronic acid in. I just thought the sponge would just soak it all up. But my God, like it makes it go so far. I'm, I'm actually in shock. This foundation looks beautiful. I love how big this sponge is. I feel like the little bumpy bit, like the little butt crack, <laughs> makes it easier to kind of hold and kind of be able to pinch it, if that makes sense. But then obviously you can use, because I was using it this way around, which was dead easy to blend the foundation out, but I also feel like you can obviously flick it the other way to use it to get like right into the nose cracks. <laughs> it looks gorgeous. It looks, it just looks radiant. It looks, oh wow, oh wow. <laughs> so I'm so impressed with this so far I'm actually shocked I did not think that this would be as good as what it, it has been what is even going on with this range wow let's put some concealer on so I'm going to put on my favorite concealer which is actually a revolution one funnily enough and it's the revolution conceal and define infinite I don't really like the original conceal and define well I don't like it at all it makes my under eyes, eyes dead dry but this infinite one is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and pop some of that on my under eyes oh my god i just threw my sponge to the other side of the, my desk and i'm gonna use how easy and quick what the hell I'm just gonna use the sponge to blend that out i am shocked i used to hate revolution sponges and then I liked the Roxy ones that she got out in her collection. I really like as well the Friends in Revolution sponges. I feel like they must have like changed where they get their sponges from because I used to hate them. I used to think they were dead hard. But wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so for the powder, I'm going to be using the brand new Super Matte Powder. This is known at Comedio... Comedio... Genic. <laughs> um, with pink clay and niacinamides for a super matte finish, a lightweight powder. Niacinamide is really good if you have oily skin, which is going to be definitely needed because I have an oily T-zone and this is quite a kind of dewy, radiant foundation. So this powder retails for £3. I just got this shade translucent for mine, mainly because I was going to get two colours because they have it in some really nice colours as well. And I was going to get them in the colours, however, I'd already spent, like, my basket was, like, 60-something pound, and that was before I even paid for express shipping. So I was like, do you know what? You don't need to be spending this much money. You're not uh, this big YouTuber <laughs> who earns loads of money. So calm yourself down. So I just got the translucent one, and then at least I can use this for underneath my eyes. Ooh. Okay. Hasn't made my under eyes go dry though, and it takes, well it doesn't take much really for a powder to make my under eyes look really dry because they always are dry, so that's quite, quite nice. And then also going to be using the same powder, I mean it looks a little bit dry now, but not too bad. And then also going to use the same powder but with a big brush to set the rest of my face. So that's the rest of my face all set in place. It looks super smooth. I mean, you can definitely see some of my pores here, but you can always see them anyway. But it does look really, really smooth. I feel like it has maybe lightened the foundation a tiny little bit. So let's try some bronzer. So we have this little trio contour. This one is in the shade Sugar. So let's go in with this bronzer to begin with. So using my normal peaches and cream brush, this, by the way, this little contour kit retails for £3. So you're basically paying a pound for each. This is a little bit lighter than what I would normally kind of pick for my bronzer, but you all know by now if you've watched my channel. <laughs> if you don't and you are new, please don't forget to hit subscribe. But if you've watched my channel for a little bit, you'll probably know that I do kind of go quite dark with my bronzer. I'm not scared of bronzer. I'm like, give me more and more and more. <laughs> So this is probably the colour that people will probably recommend for me. But I'm like, I want it darker. I want to pretend that I'm a bronze goddess. 
when I'm actually pale as. <laughs> this is actually really nice. It's blending in really nicely as well. Like no problems at all with this bronzer. I think that looks really cute, the bronzer. Really, really happy with that. So I'm gonna switch from this to a different palette. This is the Duo Blush and Highlighter. This is way, like so much bigger than I expected. I thought this was gonna be tiny, but actually it's the same size as the eyeshadow palettes. So obviously when it's two products, that's a lot of product in there for the two. So this one is in the shade Kindness, which just looks like this. It's coming up a little bit lighter on camera than how it looks in person. Like that's how it looks in person, that colour. So this, like the majority of the collection, retails for £3 as well. So I'm going to take a Spectrum brush and we'll try the blush. I'm a bit nervous. The blush side. Oh my god, that is sexy as. This is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I can imagine, because I really struggled to pick one. I had two of these in my basket to begin with. So I can imagine me collecting these other blushes because look at that. Come on, boys and girls. Come on, don't play me now. This is beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with me today, but wow. Okay. Gorgeous. I am going to take just a titchy little bit from this one just for us to try it. And I'm just going to put this more. This is more of kind of like your a bit of a peachier nose, nose, nose orgasm. What is the matter with me? And I focus this more on kind of the front of the cheeks. Oh, that's cute as well. Okay. I really like that. Really easy to blend. Super pigmented, which is what I like. I don't have time anymore for super like subtle blush like just give me it like that it looks okay obsessed and obsessed the next thing that we're going to try is highlighter so we have the super highlight I picked up the shade champagne which just looks like this again retails for three pound we were expecting are you different? <laughs> so this is the pattern is really nice. This is what she looks like and just going in with a peaches and cream PC 17 brush. Let's see. Oh, okay. We need to pick up more than that. She's clearly not as scary as what I thought she was going to be. Oh, okay. This kind of golden touch to this highlighter is going to tie in so nicely with that gold that we've put on the lid. So I'm going to put some of my nose. Oh my God. Three pound. Can't go wrong. It has, it's got a tiny little bit of a shadow, but that's probably because I've gone for champagne instead of going for the lighter one because I like a more of a champagne-y gold kind of undertone to my highlights. So I'm just going to blend that in just with my blusher brush. Lizzie, if you're watching this, you need to get this because it has like a golden tone to it. And girl, you're just going to love it. You're just going to love it. There's just no no doubt about it. So for lashes, we're going to be trying the brand new Power Lash Volume Mascara. She is big and chunky. She retails for £3. I haven't even opened her up. So let's see what the brush looks like together. Oh, okay. Don't know how I get on with these brushes, but we will soon find out. This is just what it looks like. Like I said, retails for £3. So I've curled my lashes and let's see what this is like okay uh, not much comes off on the actual brush like it's not a very wet mascara so if you don't really like wet mascaras then this might be one for you like if you want a mascara where you can like really build it up and you want a bit of play time with it and one like say if you've got like quite heavy lashes and you want a more lighter mascara than this one would be more helpful. See, there's a lot applying from this. I wonder if that was just because it was the first dip because I prefer that so much more to this. So I wonder if it was just because it was the first kind of dip into the mascara. I'm just going to pop some of that green on the under eye and then blend it out with that brown that we used from the other palette just so we've got a little bit of colour underneath. I actually think that mascara was just because it was the first dip. Because look at my lashes now. I didn't, I didn't expect this to be this good. I'm going to pop some lip stuff on and then we'll come back and we'll try the baby gloss because look how cute she is. Okay, I'll be back in a second. So I've just popped on some of the P. Louise Achievements 
lip liner. I don't know how what's going to go with this gloss, but we have something called the Baby Gloss, which is actually adorable. I got mine in the shade Cream. I wasn't expecting it to be this small, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of like the same size as my Fenty Mini, obviously just skinnier. Than the Fenty one. So in the Fenty one you get 5.5 mil and in this one you get 2.2 mil. And this again retails for £3. I don't know how well it's going to go with this lip liner but we're going to give it a good, a good chance. <gasps> oh my god it smells so nice. It's like a sweet smell. Okay, this looks beautiful. As you can see, it's actually <laughs> really pigmented as well. It doesn't feel sticky. It feels quite creamy, like a creamy formula. I can't get over this range. I generally was like, why is Revolution bringing out another brand? Like they've got absolutely lots of brands. But I, I'm so glad that they did. So this is the finished look, doing a full face of the brand new Relove by Revolution brand. Personally, the thing that kind of stood out to me the most was definitely the blusher. Do you all that blusher is beautiful. I really, really liked the contour one as well. The bronzer was really nice and the blusher again was gorgeous. We didn't get around to trying this highlighter, but I will try that in a future video if you want me to do like a Relove 2.0 and try it all out again. The eyeshadow palettes for £3, unbelievable. I really want to do a full matte look i think that'll look absolutely beautiful especially with the eyeliner the eyeliner has wowed me wow super pigmented really really precise a really really thin nib and it is controllable it's i hate like really flexible ones i love it i absolutely love it would really really recommend it it's one of the things that i personally normally skip when brands bring out like a new brand or a new collection, I always skip the eyeliner, but I'm so glad that I didn't because that is unbelievable. The primer smells like cherry. If you love the smell, like car freshener cherry, unbelievable. So nice. The foundation, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I would wear this for work. I can imagine this being a day-to-day -day foundation for me. I love it. Absolutely love it. So easy to blend out, especially with the sponge. Really, really like this as well five pound can't go wrong you can definitely tell that it gets bigger in size because it doesn't even fit back into the tub anymore unbelievable would really recommend it i do feel like it's a it looks a little bit light now the foundation but i don't know if that's just the translucent powder the only thing that didn't like absolutely blow me away was the translucent powder but again it's a translucent powder <laughs> like i don't know what you would expect from a translucent powder but out of everything this would be the thing that i wouldn't really they'd be that bothered about buying again the other things like i definitely want to get more in the color range the lip gloss obsessed obsessed i knew as soon as i saw the color that i was going to love that anyway but the formula's really nice the mascara i thought this was going to be naff for my first time putting it on but i think i just needed to kind of like double dip it <laughs> instead this is really nice and i don't normally like these kind of like brushes as well for the under eye it has worked really well however you have to be really careful because it is such a big brush so it probably wouldn't be one that i'd be like gagging to buy again but i would definitely buy it again which is good because normally again i normally skip mascaras and eyeliners when new things launch because i'm just like meh well and then i really really like this it maybe is a little bit too dark for me tiny little bit too dark for my complexion but i'd still rock it and i think it still looks really really nice so that is the champagne one let me know if you want me to do another video maybe doing like a full matte eye maybe trying the foundation and stuff again do you want me to do a foundation friday and friday this week with it to see what it's really like during the day and put it like proper to the test lucy style i didn't expect it i know i keep saying that but i really did not expect this brand to be this good i honestly thought i was spending a lot of money to test this brand literally just for YouTube and that I probably wouldn't particularly like it. I think because of the price tag, you don't expect it to be this good, like this good. 
you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what other kind of videos you want me to do. There will be a video coming on the I Heart Revolution coconut palette and also the nude one that I showed at the beginning of the video as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll hopefully see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Love you so much. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.